Well, everyone, it's time for us to go ahead and take a look at the differences between Google Drive and iCloud Drive and see which one you will actually probably end up using or you would end up liking. Now, personally, I use both, and I actually do think a lot of you may end up using both as well. The thing with between both of these is that iCloud and Google Drive are pretty much built in with a lot of different devices that we use. If you use any Google products, including Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Google anything like even YouTube sometimes, you may already be syncing up some things within Google Drive in order to actually store videos or photos or any other things like that up on your Google account. Now, if you own any Apple product for the most part, not just iPhones, but also iPads, MacBooks, iMacs, like any Apple product you'll probably think of, even maybe an Apple Watch, who knows, you might already have an iCloud account set up or at least have access to iCloud Drive. So you may already be involved in both of these. So it's not like one, it's not like you have to go completely out of your way to go ahead and, you know, use one over the other. You may already have accounts set up on both of them. And you may not even know about it. I will say with Google Drive, it may be a little bit easier for you to go ahead and access it and or for you to already have access to a Google Drive account. Because if you have a Gmail account, like I mentioned, then you probably, you already have Google Drive set up. So that's kind of the best way to kind of think about it. Now, the best way to kind of think about in terms of, I guess, the starting point is the free base storage that you're getting between both of these accounts. So you can store anything you want to up to the limit in which you're going to purchase and or you already have access to for free. So for iCloud Drive, we have five gigabytes of storage that we can use for free. It's not really that much Google. It's not really that much, you know, iCloud Drive storage. I wish they gave us maybe 10 or 15 gigabytes because I almost every single time I get any device. I remember like five years ago, I filled that thing up and I barely even did anything on my phone. I was barely even texting people. I barely had anything synced up and it was already kind of backed up for the most part. So that was kind of the issue I had with that. So five gigabytes you're getting for free there. With Google Drive, you're getting 15 gigabytes of storage for free. So you were getting three times the amount of storage completely for free on Google Drive over iCloud Drive. Is that a crazy big deal? Well, I don't know if it's like the biggest deal of all time. Time, but like I mentioned, if you're already kind of utilizing both these accounts and you have access to them kind of the same way, well, then it might make a little bit more sense to go switch to Google Drive, especially if you're under that 15 gigabyte limit, because you can save yourself a bunch of storage that way and or, you know, save yourself from paying every month for that type of storage because it's completely for free, like I stated. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is what you can actually go ahead and pretty much, you know, post on these specific accounts. You can pretty much, whatever you can post on Google Drive, you can pretty much post on iCloud Drive as well and vice versa. So if you need to store up files, videos, you know, photos that you took, zipped files, any games that you want to go and back up or anything like that at all, you can store them up on your account completely for free up to that 15 gigabyte limit. And then after that, you can go ahead and then kind of pay for your account as you normally would. So you might be asking yourself, well, what are the payments and the you know increments that you can go up to? Now, I personally pay for an iCloud drive storage every month. And there's a reason for it is because it pretty much syncs up really well with my other you know iCloud devices like my Macs and other devices. But also if I have something like my Androids, they have Google Drive and you can access them on other devices too. Now, with Google Drive, you can go up to 15 gigabytes for free, like I mentioned, but that next increment above is 100 gigabytes. That's their basic account, and you're getting 100 gigabytes of storage. You're getting access to Google Experts. I don't even know what that means. And you're getting share up to five others, which is cool. And that is $1.99 every month. So keep that in mind. For $1.99 every month, you're pretty much getting 100 gigabytes of storage. So not the biggest deal of all time. And I do think that's kind of a you know decent price to pay for that much storage. Now for my iCloud, you know, account, I guess iCloud Plus, that's what they call it. I am paying 99 cents a month for 50 gigabytes of storage. So you are getting half the amount of storage, but it, you know, makes sense. You're getting, you know, the 99 cents here instead of, you know, $1.99 on Google Drive. So that is one thing to keep in mind. You know, the next increment above that five gigabytes here is 50 gigabytes. And I think that's totally fine. You know, I, I'm totally okay with paying 99 cents a month for that. You can go up to $2.99 a month for 200 gigabytes on iCloud Drive. And you can go up to two terabytes for $9.99 a month on iCloud Drive, which isn't that bad. The two terabyte option for Google Drive is $249. 
So it's kind of decent now. If for that's two four nine for one month, it is nine ninety nine every month after that. So you know, Google Drive and iCloud Drive pretty much almost have the same pricing structure. It's a little bit different in terms of how they price it, but pretty much for every dollar, you're pretty much paying for like fifty gigabytes up until like two terabytes. So it's not a bad way to think about it. Now there's obviously, like I said, features between both. But the reason I pay for iCloud Drive and I don't have the Google Drive, you know, storage account is because while I do have Google Drive, I just don't pay for the, you know, I only use fifteen gigabytes. And the reason I do that is because I'm kind of engrossed into the Apple ecosystem. So the reason I do like iCloud Drive a lot is because I have the ability of syncing up pretty much all of my files to a specific folder structure inside of, you know, my iCloud Drive. So I can go ahead and access it on all of my other Apple accounts and it's very easy and they sync up automatically without me having to do anything at all. Now, Google Drive can probably end up doing the same thing too, but the systems I have in place and the way I already have it structured is really nice. I do know there's ways to go ahead and have like folders automatically sync up to your, you know, Google Drive accounts and all those things, but the way Apple has done it just makes it so easy. And that is the thing that I mentioned earlier on in this video is that if you already have like an Android phone, if you have other devices and you're already synced into the Google Drive's, you know, or, you know, structure, well, you've probably been already like grandfathered into already you know getting your systems in place that if you like have folders set up and everything like that well then you're probably already going to you know be stuck on google drive probably forever until you switch or there's a new deal or something like that and that's exactly how i feel with icloud all of my folders all my files you know whenever i have these audio files i automatically save them into a folder that's on icloud and then i pretty much have it accessible on different macs on different phones on different you know ipads so it's really nice and i like the way that's structured other than that though if i didn't already had like if i didn't use it for that i probably wouldn't pay for it because i probably wouldn't even use the five gigabytes but the problem with this like i mentioned before is that the features are on, like almost exactly the same it's just the base storage that apple gives you is so much less than the base storage that google drive gives you that with google drive you can get a lot more out of it for that free tier you can be able to play like, for years and years and years i pretty much never maxed out that 15 gigabyte limit it wasn't until probably like a year and a half or two years ago and i've had google drive for years now it wasn't until like two years ago that i started running out of storage and i was like wow i should probably go and upgrade since then i don't i deleted pretty much everything off google drive and i stored it on my hard drive or ssd and since then i really hadn't had to worry about it with icloud drive immediately like i said it was like five or six years ago i already ran out of storage so apple knows what they're doing they're never going to increase that tier ever you know they're never going to make it 10 or 15 gigabytes but i think that would be kind of cool if they were to end up doing that now this kind of takes takes us to the end of this video. And to be honest, I kind of do think that, again, I don't think there would be one I would choose over the other one if I wasn't already using one in general. If I didn't have any systems or folders or anything already set up right now, I don't think there would be a reason I would use iCloud Drive, if I'm being honest. I think I would probably end up using Google Drive just because that free allotment is so much larger than what I'm already using on iCloud. And you already get a lot more things I would say that I normally would already use. Things like, you know, Google Sheets, Google Docs, all those things that I use in an everyday basis, they take up a little bit of storage every time you, you know go ahead and you know do something so that is the reason why i actually do like google drive a lot i love icloud because it automatically syncs up with all of your other devices now, for all my audio files and everything they automatically sync up and there i can access them in the files application it's all native and i think that's a really nice thing too so like i said i don't know if there's like necessarily one i would like pick up over the other one right now but if i were you i would probably look at the pricing structure and see you know which one kind of suits you better if you're going to use less than 50 gigabytes and if you're already in like apple's ecosystem well then maybe the icloud drive may end up making more sense because you can pay 99 cents a month and it's a pretty decent tier but if you're planning on using more than 100 gigabytes and or your android user even if you're an iphone user it might make a little bit more sense to use you know maybe google drive because you can get a little bit more difference in the storage you don't have to pay like the 299 for 200 gigabytes you can pay 199 for 100 gigabytes and kind of be fine there so the choice is yours but i do think both these are solid options i don't really think there's one that i would choose over the other one necessarily but because i'm in the apple ecosystem i think icloud drive works the best for me so that kind of covers it up if you have any other thoughts or questions let me know in the comment section below hit the like button that me so much but definitely hit that subscribe button more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out to all them.